Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarikan. Welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So we've gotten a brand new update, and that new update added new items. So finally, we have these Molotovs in the game, and it looks like these Molotovs are here to stay because these limited timed items, they say that they will disappear in 14 days and 10 hours, but Molotovs don't really have that thing, so probably they will stay in the game, which is kind of awesome. And for those who didn't know, you can get... I haven't even tested out. First of all, I haven't even tested out a single Molotov here, so we're going to be experiencing it here today together. So yeah, also, happy holidays and we're gonna get to that so if you do not know how to get these molotovs you can talk here to the elder and you have to reach level 21 and in level 21 you will get five first molotovs here maybe later on in the game you will be able to get these molotovs from different places i have no idea but at least as of right now hopefully they're not temporary hopefully we'll get more of them but yeah for now you can get them on level 21 and i don't think you can get them on any other level on level 35 we can get this other weapon scorcher maybe we'll unlock it today i have no idea but on level 43 you can get probably in my opinion the best reward from this entire season thing from this entire reputation with the nomads right from this entire christmas event uh, this division box and here you'll be able to store some mechanical parts which is absolutely amazing and on level 45 you can get this tactical backpack and then you can keep getting more of those packs so hopefully it's going to be easy Hopefully, everybody will be able to reach all of these rewards. So just keep logging in here to the game daily. Keep doing that icy junkyard, and that's it. What we're going to do now, we're going to be checking out these Molotovs because I only have five of them. So we'll be very, very careful. I don't want to waste them. So I do want to be careful. I want to use them on that stuff. But hey, before we even do this, before we go outside and before we check it out, let's actually connect here some more pipes because we have 12 more pipes here, as you can see. So let's probably lay them down somewhere else and hey to those that are watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pin comments down below there you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker also let me know in the comments down below that you're watching it after the live stream is over also happy holidays welcome welcome once again to those that are watching this live stream live and welcome to those that are watching after it's over so we have already connected uh here to one house right we already connected these pipes to this house to the healer this was uh, the hunter this was the mechanic, I assume. And now we're going to be going to this dude that I have no idea who that guy is. But I think we've done some calculations last time and we have to go through the bottom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And from the top will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, let's go through the bottom. And uh, everything is going to be all right, ladies and gentlemen. Plip, plop. And plip. There we go. We did it. So we have to speak to another hunter. Interesting. We were looking for pipes in the junkyard. Okay, so did we level up here? I'm not really sure. In any case, also another very important thing. Do not give any of these pipes and don't give any of these red lights because you have to decorate the houses and you have to connect these houses with the pipes and everything. So make sure to connect those houses first before you give any pipes. I know some of you have already given that dude some pipes. Don't give any pipes to that guy. Just connect the houses. Just heat up the houses. Okay, so let's talk to the hunter then. So we'd always run away as soon as we heard the howling of a blizzard. But the fourth level I finally found a monster that had been stalking us and bringing the storms. Okay, so I have to follow that dude now. I'm going to follow that guy. Do we have everything? Okay, I did bring some items with me. I brought some weapons and some other stuff. But before we do anything, I want to keep decorating this mechanic's house. So what I'll do, I'll go here and I'll give him... Oh, nothing else. I don't have anything. So we need to get these different lights and other stuff. Okay, we will do it. We will absolutely do it. So yeah, once again, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Glad to see you all over here. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having great holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy upcoming New Year. And th that's it. We're going to go outside now. Let's check out that other event, ladies and gents. Let's, let's check it out. I still need to connect uh, to the healer. I'm pretty sure you will be able to connect it to the healer eventually. You will be able to do it. Be the best tips for the new event. Just keep clearing the icy junkyard and that's it. Connect the pipes, decorate the houses. And that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go now here to the icy outskirts so i did want to use these molotovs but uh, here we are doing this other quest i also wanted to go to the farm location so perhaps we're gonna do this but probably as soon as we are done with this we'll be able to go to the icy junkyard so maybe that's where i will check out those molotovs perhaps perhaps what are you doing over the holidays playing last day on earth what am i gonna do over the holidays what are you guys doing over the holidays uh hunter Okay, let's talk to this dude, yeah. Get ready, it's going to be a real challenge. 
Okay, let's deal with one diseased wolf, another diseased wolf. Oh no, why are they on fire? I, my AKs don't have any fire. Oh, he's using the Scorcher. Find the entrance to the cavern. Okay. I think I can do this. Okay, so in this place, apparently, you can get a little bit of copper if you want to. Interesting. Oh, we can loot the snowmobile. Let's loot it. Okay, we got some of these wirings that I might need to decorate the other house. I'm gonna get those wirings, and before we loot anything... Oh, that's the entrance to the cavern, probably. Wendigo cave examined. So we examined one clue. Probably. We're gonna examine here the second clue. And wait, there's a third clue? Okay, there's a third clue. Understandable, have a nice day, that poor dude. Monster trail found. It still says examine clues two out of three, even though I've examined already three clues now. Well, it's fine. I'll examine this thing. And place a bait. Um, I have to place one meat. Luckily, there are some foxes here. There is some fox. Let's get this. Let's drop one meat. And let's attract that Wendigo. Will we have to wait till the night or something? Oh, uh, no. The, wet, the dude is already getting destroyed by Wendigo. Okay, so we could either destroy it with these guns that we have here. Or... We could use this flare gun that we have. We also have the scar there. So we could use this. The guy does a decent amount of damage. But yeah, the flare gun is okay. However, that scar would have been better. But I, I'm gonna save that scar for later. For the icy... Icy junkyard. Where are the molotovs? We have them in the inventory. I wanted to save them as I only have five molotovs. My guy wasn't shooting that Wendigo. There we go, finally we, we did it. We destroyed that Wendigo, the Wendigo is sleeping. The Wendigo has been dealt with. We're gonna use these Molotovs. I said I only have five of them, so I wanna use them properly. Kinda. Okay, let's help this dude out. So that's it, we did it. Now we have to return to the Hidden Ridge Farm. A tank! Ladies and gentlemen, we found a bloody tank. You can also find these tanks in the northern locations. I go and I'll tell the Elder and shoot something by the house for your reward, whatever. Destroyed, says Mr. Dunhill. Welcome to the stream, and yes, indeed, that dude was absolutely destroyed. Demolished. What's up, what's up? Merry Christmas, says Master. Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas, welcome, welcome. I think that is it. There's nothing else left for us to do here. I think I have looted everything. We have gotten uh, a free shotgun. Okay, so let's go back to the Hidden Ridge Farm. I've played this game for about a week, so I'll probably skip this event. I don't have enough skill and weapons. I don't think you need a lot of weapons for this event. I mean, you can still try doing this. It's only a limited time event and you can get some good stuff. I would still suggest you doing it, even if you've been playing it just for a week. It's not like you need to save any crazy resources. Still, like, try doing this event. It's not that... I mean, if you can't do it, you can't do it. Then just stop once you hit the wall. But it's always nice to try. I think you should always try doing stuff. And now we have to talk to the hunter. Uh, uh, hunter. Our people are safe now, and it's all thanks to you. Okay, let's claim the reward. We've gotten a crossbow. You gotta be kidding me. That's kind of a sad reward, but whatever. I'll take it. And now we have to decorate this dude's house. And this dude's dude needs even more lights. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. All right, so what about that junkyard thing? It's not open yet. We could either go A to the junkyard or B. We could quickly uh, destroy the farm location. And I also advise you to connect all of these houses because it looks like here he didn't decorate all the houses first and then we'll be able to get some of these awesome rewards. I don't know what is the reward inside of there. But, uh, I mean, it should be probably good. It should be probably pretty, pretty good. So now... We need more pipes to connect uh, to this house. So to connect it to this house, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or we need uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven as well. So it doesn't matter. I'll probably go from this side and that's it. We'll be able to lay pipes that way and we'll be able to connect it to this house. And that is it. That'll be the last house that we need to connect. And yeah. That'll be kind of cool, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's skedaddle from here. Let's uh, leave this event for now. What is the new scum video going to be out? The sooner the better, maybe even tomorrow. I'm not sure, perhaps tomorrow, maybe after tomorrow, but there will be more scum survival videos. So this thing is going to refresh in about three minutes. And I can't really refresh it anymore myself. So I think to not waste any time, let's just go to the Crooked Creek farm. I'm gonna use my Molotov there. And as soon as we are done, we're gonna go to this place. I think that'll be the best thing to do, ladies and gents. So yeah, let's go for it because there's still three minutes left. We're not going to look at it, right? We got things to do. We got places to be and we got loot to get. Does the new skin give protection from freezing? I don't think this new skin gives anything. This new skin doesn't give any buffs. It just looks like that and that's pretty much it. I don't think we have any passive buffs, any active buffs or any temporary buffs. Did you get the Molotovs? Yes, we do have the Molotovs here. So, I'm gonna try to use them. However... How will we do this? Perhaps on this? On this dude? Is there splash damage? I'm not sure how it works. I only have five Molotovs, so I gotta be careful. Let's use one Molotov on this guy first. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. This is going to be our first Molotov. Okay. The dude is on fire. And if I step on it myself, do I get any damage? Okay, I did set myself on fire as well. Um, so they charge after you, so you have to throw... It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not really sure if the Molotov was that good. Because if you throw that Molotov, they will escape. So how do you lure them in one place and how do you make them stay in that burning area? So, I don't know. I'm not really sure if these Molotovs are good, but again, these Molotovs, I use them at the farm location where you don't really need these Molotovs. Maybe it'll be better at the... Okay, here, for example. Okay. Okay, I threw that Molotov at these guys, and they all set themselves on fire. I can probably go back here and lure them into this fire again. I set myself on fire. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. I am not gonna lie. The, the Molotov is kind of weird. So unless you have... Unless you wall trick or something. Unless you make them stuck somewhere. It's not really that good. At least in my opinion. What do you think, guys? What do you think about the Molotov so far? What is your opinion about them? It's kind of cool. I like that they added Molotov. That's great. But they're very rare, and I've already used two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna now save them. I'm definitely gonna save these Molotovs. I'm not gonna use them, at least for now. I'm gonna use more Molotovs at the uh, the the icy junkyard or whatever it's called. Molotovs aren't worth it. They need a Bob, says Raj. That's how it feels like. Oh, we can also get lights here. That's great. So yeah, for those who didn't know, you can also get lights inside of the farm location. You guys also told me that you can get lights at the far uh, at the bunker alpha, and at some other places. So I could throw another Molotov there, but the grenade is gonna do more damage than that Molotov, right? Let's get a stack of nades. Okay, let's throw that grenade. There we go. Some of them exploded. And I can throw another grenade because they didn't even see me. Okay, cool. There we go. And now that grenade damaged those savage giants. Actually, these grenades are better than Molotovs. Molotovs are great, but the... Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Actually, I feel like Molotovs are pretty bad. So I am a little bit disappointed to say that, but I feel like Molotovs are pretty sad. However, it's nice that we've gotten at least something new. It's like, I already got the division boxes, Gaga. Very nice. Congrats on your division box. Oh, if you al you already had it before this update. So what do you get instead of that division box? Do you get anything else? What's better, decorating houses or leveling up? You level up when you decorate houses. You should absolutely decorate the houses. You get more points by 
decorating the houses. You get from five, from like 150 to like 250 to maybe even 500 more points by decorating houses instead of just giving those points to the people. Molotov probably better used at the frozen junkyard. Yep, I assume it's going to be better there, but... Uh, I know, I'm a little bit disappointed by the, by the Molotov. Because it does area damage. It damages zombies if they stay here in one place, but usually zombies just leave, they run after you. So how do you make them stay in one spot? It kind of makes no sense unless you run through that Molotov thing yourself. I don't know. I just got the division box. I refreshed the junkyard five times with rations. Okay. That's nice. Congrats on your division box then. Congrats on the division box. I can't believe I just broke this scar and we never modded it. Okay. Another place with bunch of schmucks. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Okay. The two grenades were actually pretty nice. So if you have some grenades, you can also save them for the police department or you can use them at the farm here to destroy these blobs of zombies. You can still also wall trick them or lure them or destroy the smaller zombies and then re-enter the place. So there are different strategies or you could also apparently here throw grenades. Interesting. Yeah, flamethrower sucked, so I'm not surprised grenades. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, grenades and grenade launchers for the win. Yep. Okay, we're gonna fight the Ravager. I've played this game for like six years and I've never fought the Ravager in this spot. Okay, I sadly don't have the melee weapons to deal with this dude, so I had to use my shotgun. But it would destroy this guy. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the Molotovs. Have you guys found... Uh, did you guys find any better strategies for the Molotov? Would be cool if that Molotov fire stuck to the to the other zombies for a long time. Because when you throw that Molotov, they almost get no damage. They get about four damage for a few seconds and that's it. Unless they stay constantly on that burning pool of Molotov. Interesting. How much rations do I need to refresh the frozen locations? The frozen location? I mean the icy junkyard. Um... 35 or something if you want to refresh it right away if you want to refresh 22 hours and you need less rations if you want to refresh less hours At least from what I know these lights are super rare at the green and orange locations I haven't tried the red ones yet, but yeah, yeah, we do need a decent amount of lights It's not going to be an easy event But yeah guys if you want to increase your chances of getting that division box just keep grinding as much as possible Just keep doing that uh, icy junkyard every time it resets. So good luck with that. Is this event worth it to do as the free-to-play player? I think so. You do get still nice rewards. Even as a free-to-play player. Oh no, I didn't get my melee weapons. I wanted to get here a machete or something. But I got nothing. Try it on winter zombies. We're gonna be trying it out on winter zombies. But even on winter zombies, even if it does a bit more damage, still you can have more potential if you keep those zombies in the burning pool. So. I am pretty sure that Molotov is gonna be great at the winter location thing. At the icy junkyard. Loot the dead zombies. Didn't I loot them? Perhaps I didn't. Or perhaps I did. I don't see a single dead zombie here. I'm pretty sure I looted most of them. Okay, let's delete these savage giants. Let's delete them from existence. Um... Yeah, so these zombies don't really drop anything crazy. Where do you get Molotovs? You get Molotovs from the rewards at the at the farm bridge. Icy farm bridge or whatever it's called. Okay, let's open up the blue box. Heavy grip. We already have that. Plus, we've gotten four more of these blue lights. We have 11 blue lights. Maybe I had some more blue lights before that. I don't know. But at least we got something. I'm going to get these wirings because I'll need them to decorate the house. 
Let's get that. And let's get ready to go to the Icy Junkyard. I guess we got everything. It's like just asking, will you ever play Day R again? The new update is really cool. Perhaps we will check out Day R one day. I can't promise anything because I don't know. But we have already played Day R on the channel. I assume you've already seen it. Maybe there will be more Day R. Maybe. Yeah, let's pop the Infected Bull. That's because the Raiders want it. Also, getting a torch now is pretty decent. These torches work pretty well against the frozen zombies at the icy junkyard. So let's get these two free torches. You do 12 damage with a torch and you get... You do around the same damage with other melee weapons. So you have to use torches at the icy junkyard. Missed the chest. All right. We have to go get it or we'll never be able to financially recover from that. We missed the box. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's open up that box. We need to we need to get the box. We need to get the charcoal here. I think you can now make free-to-play video about this update, says Karl Lovacek. I think you're wrong because there is nothing I can show there. And this is the free-to-play video. What do you guys think I can... I don't know, whatever. Let's keep moving. I'll do the same thing on my free-to-play account as well. I'll just join that event and I'll do the same exact thing as I did here. You can just, guys, assume that this is the free-to-play account. You can just look at this name and just add free-to-play in your head and it'll be the same thing. I just show you what you need to know about this event. So either I do it here or on my free-to-play account, it's going to be the same. Is this event easy? Depends on your definition of easy. So I suggest you to try it and see if it's actually easy or not for you. And there we go. Our icy junkyard has reset. So that is noise. Let's go to the base real quick. Let's drop some resources and let's go to that icy junkyard. And Jayla S, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. How many locations does it have? Who has how many locations? What has how many locations? What's your level? We are max level. We are level 209. How many locations does the event have? One, two. Three, four, five. Depends uh, what do you count as a new location. Uh, let's put this schmuck there. Welcome, welcome to those that have just joined once again. Glad to see all of you here. I'm just going to drop the scar here for now. Because I want to upgrade some of my other weapons. The event junker, the factory, the forest, and the other forest. Yes. Those are the kind of new locations. Backflips is Minecraft. I literally have no clue what that is. Why a random word backflip? But alrighty, boomer. This crossbow, I kind of don't need my crossbow here. Are we getting a good amount of lights at Bunker Alpha? I have no idea. I haven't tried that. I haven't went to Bunker Alpha yet. Mm, I'll get that one melee weapon. I'll pop some carrots and I think I'm ready. Ish. To go. I'm just gonna drop the grenades because I don't think I need the grenades. And we have the the scars. Do a backflip is Minecraft. That's the dumbest comment that I've heard this year, probably. Congratulations. Congrats, man. I don't know. I don't know how to do backflips though, sadly. If I knew I would definitely do one. Because why not? Risk my life for entertainment, but I don't know how to do backflips. I'm sorry, I cannot do this. And Neo the Pro Prodigen. Neo the Prodigen, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Santa gave me $2. Have it for yourself. Thank you. Thanks for the $2. But again, if the Santa gave you the $2, that means you deserve those $2. So those are your $2. However, thank you for sharing. Thanks for supporting the channel. All the jokes aside, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. 
Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And uh, why am I looking at my inventory for so long? I have things to do, places to be, and yet here I am. You get at least 10 to 15 yellow lights from Bunker Alpha. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's nice to know. Thanks for the info, Beast Slayer. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we dropped some weapons and that should be enough. Now let's get out all. Why do I have a melee weapon? Oh, because it's a special melee weapon. It's this. Forlore and fair me melee weapon. They added new tools in the inventory, which makes it easy to find our tools in the inbox, you meant, not in the inventory. And uh, yeah, but you could also find those tools in the weapons section. That was pretty easy, but yeah, it's nice. The more things they add, the better. Do you recommend to spend all my Christmas money on last and says boy dog? All up to you, your money, your life. You do whatever you want to do. As I said plenty of times, Maybe more times than I should have. I am not your financial advisor, so I can't tell you what to do with your money. Mursav Alom says, videos are not coming, exclamation mark, question mark. Why such an aggression, Alom? Why are you so aggressive? Just chill, brother. Okay, let's deal with these wildlings. Let's get our torch. Because as I said, the torch is going to be pretty decent in this location. Especially against these wildlings. The torch is ridiculous. That's all I have to say. The torch is awesome. It's like, what to do with my money? Guys, stop it. I don't know what to do with your money. It's your money. Stop it. If you want to spend it on last earth, you spend it on last earth. I can't help you with that, sadly, though. Stop it. Okay, let's deal with this dude. Plus, we've gotten some more uh, blue things. Go buy a car, says Mr. Dunhill. There we go. We got a financial advisor in the chat, guys. If you want to spend your money, buy a car, says Mr. Dunhill. Uh, we're going to loot this vehicle. Let's put this guy to sleep. Oh, we've done 36 damage. With a torch. So you can clear a decent amount of this place with just a torch, ladies and gentlemen. Just a torch. And I think it's pretty cool. So that's it. Now we're going to use this uh, Molotov once again. We still have three more Molotovs, so I do want to use them. And we will use them. And we will see how it all works. Okay, I'm going to remove this. We got a few fast biters. I'm pretty sure we'll have more Molotov things. These guys are very small. They have 80 health. It's weird to use these Molotovs. You're not going to be able to reach them and they'll just run at you as soon as they see you. Okay, so I couldn't use the Molotov here then. Let's get this. Uh, does the order I heat up houses matter? You can go counterclockwise. That's how I went. So I can only suggest you that that's what I've done and it worked so far for me. So you can probably do this. Okay, let's pop another fast biter. Gonna use probably my melee weapons on these guys. Okay, another copper pipe. Beautiful. Wait, we need to connect one more or, or two more houses. I think we need to connect one more house. Maybe we can even connect it today. Okay. I will deal with this wildling. From where do I get flare guns? You can get them from the fourth floor. You can also get them from the police department. Guys, where else do you get flare guns? Okay, I'm going to throw that Molotov. I didn't even miss that model. That's it. We've done only nothing. The guy got almost no damage at all. And the Molotov is still burning, but it just disappeared now. Okay. So we... I don't know. I'm disappointed with these Molotovs. That's all I have to say. Okay. 
Let's try to throw that Molotov manually then. At this guy. Okay, still, that's it. That was the Molotov, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the amount of damage we did. It does nothing. It does nothing. We've done 24 damage from one Molotov. Because the guy started chasing me. Only 24 damage. That's disappointing. And you have to keep them in that area. So, grenades are better than these Molotovs. Everything's better than these Molotovs. They're very bad. They're horrible. Terrible. Atrocious. Unless they stay in that pool of Molotov, but you can't really make them stay there. Unless you will gather these guys and you stay in that pool of Molotov yourself. Like this. There we go. What a nice way to, to use that Molotov thing, but they're healing up at the same time and I'm getting damage and they're getting damage and that dude is at full health anyways because he healed up like... I don't know. It's a very bad thing. And that is it. We ran out of Molotovs. We completely ran out of Molotovs. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of these Molotovs? I was really excited for them. I think they'll be better. I thought they'd be better, but they're like so bad. The worst throwable item in the game. You should be able to craft them though yourself. Like if you could craft them yourself for cheap, then maybe? I don't know. If you had like a lot of them and you throw them everywhere and then you just maybe, I don't know. They're super rare. You can buy them in the shop. They're so bad. I don't know, ladies and gents. Maybe I am wrong, but... Please let me know how else would you use them if I am wrong, because I'd love to experiment. But I can't even experiment now anymore because I don't have any more of those things. But yeah, it feels like that Molotov is the worst throwable item in the game. We have only like what grenades and that's it. Grenades are awesome. Waited four months for them to be released, lol. This is so disappointing, says Eric. Yep. And Molotovs look like to be the only permanent thing in the game because they don't despawn. But at least it doesn't really look like they'll despawn, but it also doesn't really feel like we can craft them either. And if we could craft them, I'm pretty sure developers would make them extremely expensive. Uh, I don't know, but it's just literally a bottle of whiskey plus a rag. So it should be pretty cheap. Developers would be like, you need tungsten. You need titanium to craft the Molotov. You also need 13 carbon composites. Let's get this. I see they added dragon breath armor for the shotgun to the workbench. Yep. Yes, they did. I know the zombie's gonna crawl out of there. Interesting. Do you only play survival game only? You can go on the channel and see what games I play. Let's pop this guy, and let's deal with him with this scar. The torch is gonna be a little bit trickier. I don't think I'll be able to... Yeah, we're gonna get punched here. Unless we bring this frozen bloater... ...to the very entrance. Wait, I just want to see if it's possible to wall trick them here. Oh no, it's gonna be difficult. They made these kind of weird walls on purpose. I'm sure about it. We could wall trick them in other spots. In any case, let's deal with this guy. Will we make videos on Miss Survival? I'm not really sure if there will be more videos on Miss Survival. There wasn't a lot of interest from the viewers for more Miss Survival. So I don't know if I'll be doing more Miss Survival. It's a fun game. I'd love to do more Miss Survival. There's still many things for us to explore. But I'm not sure if I'll do more. But we'll see. We never know. Maybe I'll do a live stream. We will see. Only time will tell. Alright, nothing here. Yeah, we did get some thermite. And a couple of more lights. Oh my goodness, stop it! 
Oh my goodness. I need to bring this dude perhaps a little bit closer. Yeah, whatever. There we go. He stood at a weird angle. And he paid the price for it. Uh, are the additional zones you unlocked in yesterday's stream available again to clear? Or are they a one-time thing? They are a uh, they are one-time thing. Those locations are a one-time thing. Okay. We have another torch. So there it is possible to wall trick here. Beautiful. 30 minutes before official Christmas, says Radich. Where do you where did you find that? Where did you find that info? Oh wow, they moved Wendigo to another side. Excuse me, sir. Okay, we're gonna pop that Wendigo then here. Goodbye, Wendigo. Sleep Wendigo permanently. Sally Wendigo doesn't drop much. That's a little bit disappointing. Wendigo's a pretty tough enemy, especially if you don't have a fully modded scar here. It's not like it's very difficult, but it is difficult-ish. And, uh... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wait until... Oh my goodness, my character keeps coming. Towards that stupid frozen bloater. Torch, ladies and gentlemen, right? Torches. Uh, nothing useful. And more lights. By the way, yesterday when you finished the house, you could only the things you give to decorations, but not the pipes that worm the house. Okay. I'm not sure what that comment meant, but hey, welcome to the stream, Martin. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the information. Even though I had no clue what that information means. Uh, when you finish the houses, you counted only the things you give to decorate, but not the pipes that warmed the house. I didn't- oh, I understood now the comment. I didn't calculate the pipes because I'm pretty sure you need to connect those pipes. I'm not really sure how many points you get for the pipes, but I'd probably say that it's worth it to, to connect the houses with those pipes. Oh, this time we got different zombies. Last time I kept getting two fat zombies. Now we get these other zombies. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. We got more random things. Come to Papa. This is the best way to get guns. Make sure to check out my free to play playlist, but long story short. Check out a uh, clear bunker alpha and check out my free to play playlist how to clear that bunker alpha. So that is it, ladies and gents. We have cleared one more, whatever this place is called, icy junkyard, right? We did it. Did you know that you get lights and flare guns in farmer crate in this new update? In the farmer crate? At the farm, you mean? You were getting flare guns at the farm probably even before the update. I am pretty certain about that. So that said, I think we did it. We have cleared this entire junkyard. Beautiful. Let's skedaddle from here now. Let's skedaddle. Um, what if I go back to the Hidden Ridge farm? And we have 12 pipes. I think I should be able to unlock the last house with these pipes. I also need a new armor. Maybe I should go back to the base to get that new armor. Still cannot refresh this location. Um, let's go to the base real quick. Let's get a new armor. Then let's go back to the Hidden Ridge Farm. And let's connect the last house. We will also see how many points we get per level by connecting those pipes. Do we even get any points? Do we even get any reputation? I'm not even sure about that. I got some lights at Bunk or Alpha, not many, but I still got some. Yep, some people say you get like from 15 to 20 or from 10 to 15 lights. Oh, 
I'll drop that silly light bulb. Why do we even store these light bulbs here? That's stupid. I'll get this. Let's get another set of armor. Don't you think mercenaries are difficult? Why do you say that? Why do you think I don't think that they're difficult? And if they are difficult, and if I think that they're difficult, what does it change? What am I supposed to do with these mercenaries? They are pretty difficult. It's difficult to level up. And what do you mean difficult mercenaries? I don't get it. You mean expeditions? Let's hop on the chopper and let's skedaddle. Do you know the trick where you can use three grenades to clear the whole Minecraft flo third floor? Yes, you go to the toilet and you throw that grenade thing. I've never done it and I'm never go going to do it because if you guys already know it, then you don't need me to show that. And if you want me to show that, there are other videos on YouTube that show that. I don't want to do that trick. Um, Nothing here. Okay, let's go now to the Hidden Ridge Farm. The best way to get materials if you are new to Last of Us. What are we talking about? <laughs> best way to get materials in The Last of Us. I mean, we're not playing The Last of Us here. We're playing Last Internet Survival. And if you play The Last of Us as a story game, just play the game and you'll get materials there. Kaik. So, Kaik, wait, you were asking, don't you think mercenaries are difficult? So, you're asking a bit weird questions, and now Kaik is like, why don't you distribute seasons to your followers like Mr. Beast? Aren't you the West Rich? I thought, Kaik, you are the West Rich like Mr. Beast. Why don't you distribute us season passes? The chat is waiting. Kaik, distribute us the season passes, because I've heard you are rich like Mr. Beast, Kaik. Distribute us, uh, uh, what did you say? Season passes. Brother, distribute us passes. You're like, what? How did you say? The West Rich, right? Distribute us the season passes. Uh, okay, so let's talk to the assistant. Now we're at level 24. Oh, wait. Actually, we will level up more because I connected one house and I got only one level. So I don't think you get a lot of points by connecting houses. And the pipes don't really even give a lot of points in the first place. Bruh. 25, so let's say it's 11 pipes, that'll be like 275 points, so it's not worth it to give pipes to this dude, like, there's no way it's worth it to give pipes. I do not have money, says Kai. Then why did you say in the chat that... That nonsense? I don't know what's going on. In any case... Um, we need to decorate the hunter's house and the mechanic's house. So we have decorated this house already. We haven't decorated this house here yet. So let's decorate this house. We're going to get some more points. Absolutely. Let's do this. There we go. Let's finalize that. We've gotten 3,000 points. And we got a few more houses to do, ladies and gents. Only way it is worth it is when you connect all the houses already. It is worth it. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Just connect the houses and decorate the houses. You absolutely have to do this. Okay, so we need to get more lights then. We have a lot of these blue lights. But we'll see. Wait, now let's go here and let's connect this thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So no matter where we go, it'll be 11 pipes anyway. So let's go from this side. Because I think it'll look cooler. I don't think it really matters. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. That's the last house, and we got 400 points for 11 pipes. And 25 times 11 is going to be 275 points. So it is worth it to connect the houses. Connect the houses and connect the other stuff. Definitely. Unskilled cook. So the, the task is on in parentheses and then skilled cook. So it's like skilled cook, but he's kind of unskilled cook. Understandable. Let's talk to the cook here. They've asked me to make dinner for everyone, but I just can't get it right. Okay. What do we have to do? Find me a turkey and I'll let you be the first to try the meal. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Like you still cannot we'll do anything here. So we have to catch a turkey. Okay, I can do this. I mean, do we have to catch the turkey with the gun or with fists? 
Apparently I have to catch him with fists. Is it normal? What is that turkey doing? I can't catch that turkey. The turkey's just going. There's no... Oh, I was only able to catch it now because it just got stuck. There we go. I got that turkey, ladies and gents. Uh, I've already made something. Try it. Try the dish. Are you okay? I'm vomiting! My character vomited! Bruh! The dude tried to bury me! What have I done? I'm a terrible cook. The dude... I, uh, I am baffled. I am lost. You alright? I'm so sorry. I still need to learn how to cook. Have you whatever? Have you tried that? He's at the gas station. You could go there and ask for the recipe. LOL. That is like actually lol. The dude didn't check my pulse. The dude didn't check anything. He just decided to bury me right away. That's the spirit. That is the spirit. The dude didn't, didn't even wait. My body was still warm. The dude dug the grave. He was ready to bury me. Just like that. The dude was ready to bury me. Just like that. Nuts, and he didn't tell to anybody. He just was like, whatever, I poisoned this guy. That's my responsibility. I'm gonna dig the grave in my backyard. Sick. So far, that's probably the, the, the most fun quest that we've done so far in this entire game. Okay, let's go to the gas station. Feel sorry for the last two buried. Did he say that he killed two people? Then I feel sorry for the last two buried as well. Please play Grimsoul. Perhaps one day. Maybe. Can't promise anything. I'm not gonna play Grimsoul. But I just to give hopes because it's holidays. Perhaps I will check out Grimsoul one day. Maybe tomorrow. Definitely not tomorrow. I'm probably never gonna play Grimsoul. But it's holidays. So it is what it is. Okay, let's find Chef, uh, Chef Hamzy, okay? Chef Hamzy, where is you? Well, and a pinch of cardamom. My recipe, it's worth a lot, actually. Uh, but I remember you are not as stupid as the rest of them. I'll give you the recipe if you do. What? I didn't have enough time to read it. I have to serve the food. Okay, I'll serve it. I have to give the food to this survivor. Deliciousness. Uh, okay. I didn't have to talk to them. To whom else I have to give that stuff then? Oh, to the, this guard. This new year, everyone will be well-fed and happy. Okay. Understandable. Let's give it to this guy. This new year, everyone must be well-fed and happy. Okay, so the, the dude said the same thing. If you don't have the VAP, can you still meet Hamzy? I don't have the VAP and I was able to get here. My VAP is out. It's over, but I was still able to enter here. So I'm pretty sure you'll be able to meet him. Okay, I hate doing this, but I'm praising you now. You can take my recipe. Okay, boil the turkey. Remember that you didn't put water in the pot. Peel the veggies. Bandage your finger and drink whiskey. Mix wild berries with sugar. Put the vegetables and meat in the oven and drizzle with sauce. One hour later, realize you didn't turn on the oven! Turn on the oven and don't look away because it's going to burn anyway. That's a good... Uh, foolproof recipe. Alright, let's go back to the Hidden Ridge Farm, I guess. Two people dead, but they wanted to bury me again. They wanted to bury me as the third person. Why does he keep burying those people then? He just keeps feeding them, they die, and he keeps feeding them anyways. Unbelievable. That chef here has to be imprisoned. The chef has to be imprisoned.
It's a reference name, Ramsey. Yes, I think everybody got that. It's like why last dinner don't work on iOS. I just joined. Sorry if question is repeated. I have no idea. Make sure to contact support. Ask them on Discord. I don't know. It should be working, I guess. Let's talk to unskilled cook. That's a weird recipe, but I'll try it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. So do I get the reward? What did I get? Nothing. I just got some turkeys. I got some spices and some other random items. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have connected this. Now we have to decorate both of these houses. I have to decorate the cook's house. Okay, so we have enough red lights. So I can give now these lights to the guy, right? I have two houses to decorate. So, I just need a bunch of these other lights and other thingies. Okay. Understand. It works on iOS as one of them. Probably does work on iOS. Actually, they aren't buried. They are kept underground to stay fresh. I mean, I see only... I mean, I do see two more graves. Yikes. Unbelievable. The dude's mad. Should be imprisoned. So, we still cannot open this up because we need to decorate all the houses first. So, we still need to get a bunch of decorations. However... I no longer need whatever decorations I got here. We could either save them because maybe the Christmas tree will need decorations. So maybe I should save these decorations for now. I'm not going to use them. Yeah, let's save these decorations. However, I can now start giving these pipes. I guess. They give 25 points anyways. Because I think we connected everything. Right? Right. So I don't think there's anything left for us to do. Whatever, let's give that one pipe. Take it. Take it, sir. So we are at... We've got nine more levels. We've got a nine more levels. How far are we? We are at level 30 already. Interesting. Now it's going to be difficult to level up. We have two more houses to get. So we will get... Extra maybe five, six, seven levels. Which... Okay, so I do think it's going to be possible for everybody to reach to... To reach this division box if they keep playing every day and they keep clearing the junkyard the icy junkyard probably it'll be possible what lights do we get from the bunker alpha we said yellow lights we need a lot of different lights so yeah, we need these lights we need these uh, round lights and we need these star lights we need a lot of lights Say so open the skin. Oh yeah, we totally need to. Oh, I mean, actually, we already got the skin. We don't need to open it as it's already there. Okay, so let's skedaddle from this place. We need to get now more lights. The goal is to get more lights. Yeah, give the lights to the guy now and clear Bun Kralf and farm for the new ones. Actually, I'll keep these lights for now because I'm not really sure what will happen when we unlock that Christmas tree. We might need to decorate that Christmas tree. So there is that. We could auto clear this place, but I'll spend 50 rations. And I don't know if I'll get even enough lights for that. From alpha, only yellow. So we will get a few yellow lights. You need one for each. You need one each for the tree. Okay, so it's pretty easy to get all the lights then. Oh, here we can get yellow lights. You can see what kind of lights you can get. From the farm, you can get the blue lights. From that, you get those lights. Here we can get red lights and colorful lights. From Bunker Bravo, we get no lights. Okay. Uh, this thing gives no lights either. And the PD gives no lights either. Apparently. Okay, red zones and other zones can also give some lights. Understandable. Auto equals scam, reset equals great. Yeah, so I'll have to probably wait until I can reset it, but I cannot reset this icy junkyard again. Go to the shipwreck event. We haven't been at the shipwreck event for a while. We could probably go there. But in any case, let's go to the base. We have to drop some items. From the factory, we get like six, eight of the rainbow ones. Okay, can you play Forge of Empires someday? I don't know. Perhaps we'll check it out one day. Probably we won't. But we'll see. Oh, I'm going to feed the doggos. They're not going to eat the cooked turkey now, will they? But they'll eat the other meat. Do the community event. Sure, buddy. Sure, I'd rather get... I don't know what to do that community event. 
check the new bike scan. Okay, we could get it. We could get the new bike scan. It should have been at the bottom, but it's not. Is it this one that we just got? No, that's from season 18. What was it even called? Season 18, 17. So they are in order, but I can't get it. There's no way it's in the inbox. Because I unlocked it. Picky doggos won't eat cooked turkey. Yep. Season 35. Where is the season 50 reward? Yeah, I don't have it for some reason. Unless it's the first, the first bike. I honestly have no clue where that bike is located. Why it's not here. Season 28, season... Nomad. Oh, this is one. This is the bike. This is the bike, ladies and gents. Uh, let's try to get some red paint. Um, red, red, red paint. Oh, I don't have red paint. Unless I have red paint in the inbox, but I probably don't. Yellow, blue, okay, we have 20 red paint. Kind of ugly, though. It do be like that. But it's fine. Make sure to take 20 fabric jerky and berry juice to give it to the guy. It's easy 600 points total. We need to do that. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's get this nomad thing. Let's paint it. Not that bad, I guess. Bike like bike. Right? There we go, we got a new bike. And it is something. Too much white. I mean, we did have a lot of white paint, so it didn't really matter. Yo, Pink Lady, welcome, welcome to the stream. Rudy, welcome. Welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. We have some of these random things to drop here. So for now, I'll just drop it. I'll drop these things. And we could start clearing Bunker Alpha Plus. We will level up a little bit in this season pass. We are already at level 33, which is not that bad. Oh, plus we haven't gotten the Christmas gift. Let's get on day six. We can get 10 Starlights because that's a joke reward. I would say that's a pretty joke reward, but okay. 10 random yellow lights. Thanks, game. Really cool. Uh, let's get some AKs. This stuff. And let's probably go to the third, uh, to Bunker Alpha. We will get some lights there because we need yellow lights. Then we need other lights. And maybe by the time we do it, the, the other place will reset. The ISC Junkyard, I'll be able to reset it again, perhaps. How is the Christmas event give you seven rewards, but seven rewards, but while it lasts for 14 days, well, you'll get only seven rewards and that's it. You're not going to get 14 rewards. You only get seven rewards. Forge of Empires is a game where you build the city from stone age to space age. It's really cool. Okay. I believe you. Let's fire this up and let's also go to the settlement because we are all about the grind, ladies and gentlemen, and we got to grind in the settlement. We also got to do the, the the transport hub as we might get some loot at the CYF from the CYF crate. How could you talk to the mechanic guy? Well, we just warmed the house and that's it. The sad smest. I mean, it's 
We could get better rewards for Christmas. I believe we could get better stuff. Again, it's free loot. That is something. A scar at the end is fine. I mean, whatever. The starlights are pretty bad. I mean, this is probably like the only goopy rewards. Also, the five roasted turkeys is pretty goop as well. So if they remove... But doesn't matter. That's free loot. In my opinion. So people have different Christmas rewards from the Elder. I saw Star Snap video and he has purple cards in his rewards though. All right. How did he get... From the Elder, people get different rewards from the Elder, maybe? It's the first time I hear that, though. We need better rewards overall, maybe. Perhaps. Not even a Christmas suit this year. <laughs> It is what it is. Let's drop that. Let's go back home. When the drone workbench, when we progress in the settlement, it'll take us forever and a little bit to get it. We still need a lot of things to get it. I do have way too many managers, though. We don't need that many. Yeah, and I guess let's begin that Bunker Alpha grind. Let's go to Bunker Alpha. Six lumps of coal and a scar. Yep, that's the rewards that we got. Which is, is what it is. So we need to craft this. We also need to craft four more hatchets and open up 25 chests. And we will be able to do another raid. So perhaps we will do a raid today. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go to that bunker alpha. We need to connect the pipes to the house of the mechanic to talk to it. Yep, if you guys want to talk to the mechanic, you have to connect the pipes to that guy. Just go counterclockwise or clockwise or whatever. And you'll be fine. You'll be set. Okay, this thing is not reset yet. I think we can reset it. There we go. And let's go now to Bunker Alpha. Also, we need the passwords. So let's go in Discord. And let's get the password. Will we do Waltrix? You can check out Waltrix on our free-to-play account in the the link is in the description. That's where we do those wall tricks. Yo, Christian, thanks for the... Uh, for the password in Alpha Auckland. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And the password is right, because I can actually check it here. Thanks, guys, for not lying. So, 07706. 07706. There we go, the password work. I have no idea why we got this, why I've taken this torch. That's fine. I need one Robert parts. One to finish gunsmiths B. Okay, good luck with those Robert parts. Not Robert, but Robert. Okay. For how long has this update been out? Uh, a day? I mean, it came out yesterday, so a day. It came out on 23rd of December. That's basically it. Okay, so we've already gotten one light here. If you calculate the rep from the lights and the pipes, it will not be worth it to open the house, it says Muhammad. I have no idea what kind of math you've done there, but you're wrong. Because we've done some math last time, and it is worth it to give the lights to 
open the houses. And it's worth it to give the pipes to open the houses there as well. In any case, if you think it's not worth it, then don't do it. Nobody is forcing you to do that. If you've done your calculations and if you think you are right, then don't do it. Last time you only calculated the lights. We calculated the pipes as well today and uh, 11 pipes. We got like 400, 300, 400 points from... I'm sick and tired of explaining the same thing. It's worth it. That's it. Let's go to the second floor. 11 pipes give you 275 points because you get only 25 points from one guy. From for one pipe, but you get 300 to 400 points for connecting a house. So you get more points by connecting houses. I mean, that math is very simple. You don't really need somebody for you to calculate that. It's like literally like two plus two. You can just calculate that yourself. It's not that difficult. It's not rocket science. Okay, let's get that minigun and let's deal with these roaming zombies, ladies and gents. Do roaming zombies even drop lights? I don't think they drop any lights. You have to loot the chest to get the lights. Will you clear the fourth floor also? I mean, I need the lights, so I should probably clear it. Should maybe gotten grenade launchers to clear that stuff faster. I mean, we're already gonna blast the guns to clear it fast enough-ish. But yeah. How did I die? I healed! God damn it! I did heal, ladies and gentlemen. I promise. Unbelievable. Disappointment is immeasurable. 20 lights in there, probably. Maybe. And now I want to get them. And now we'll get those lights. Teleported to grab the MGL, says Rudy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Rudy. My man. We did it, ladies and gents. We've gotten three grenade launchers because that's why I came here for. I died on purpose to get three grenade launchers. That's why we came here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the info. We died there on purpose. We died there on purpose. Everything's calculated. All plan out, yep. Everything's calculated, ladies and gentlemen. Everything's fine here. I've just joined Update Me and what you're doing. We're playing last on Earth today. Welcome to the stream, Born Sus. Welcome, welcome. Let's go here. And yeah, I'm also waiting for this thing to be able to refresh it again. Maybe I need to wait for two more hours until I can refresh this icy junkyard. And then I'll be able to decorate all the houses. So then you have to decorate the Christmas tree from what I've heard. And that's it. Then we will be done with this event. Beautiful. There are certain chests. Light spawns only there. I cleared normal mode and hard mode. Both were in the same chests. Okay, Fluffy World. Thanks for the info. Sorry, how many houses left? Zero. We just need to decorate two more houses. We don't need any more pipes, but we still need a bunch of lights. Sadly, we don't get any lights from... from the... from the transport hub. When you think about it, the whole update is one big icy junkyard. It do be like that. That's what it is. But every event update that we've gotten was was usually around just one location. 
Has he opened the season house, the second house with the chef? We have opened up every house with the chef, with with the healer, with two with two hunters, with one mechanic. We've done everything. I got the dude's dead. Dead! And we got a second armor set. Which is cool, I guess. Um, there we go. We have a bit more space. Hey, what happened? I have no idea. The armor just teleported back to the base. I sent the armor back to the base. And we can get these things and we can keep going. Wait, can I loot the washing machine? Maybe we'll get some, some things here. Will ever there be a dead by daylight video? Perhaps one day. Okay, let's gather these dudes. So yeah, I'll clear the first, second, I mean the second, third, and fourth floor. And then I think we'll go to the transport hub. Because I still want to open up the CYF crate. I'll get here a few lights. But sometimes it doesn't work. I double clicked that thing and it doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. It's either in the game or my mouse is dying. I'm going crazy. Probably a little bit of uh, both. A little bit of everything. look sus now that was the goal i always look sus if i don't look sus that means i actually look sus so if i look sus that's the normal me defending your dusty mouse it's a good mouse There's one light in the back of the cafeteria chest. Okay, so here we should be able to get one light. Were you right? Yes, indeed, you were absolutely right. So we did get one light here, Flaffy World. We did get it. Flaffy World. What an epic nickname. I'm sad that I spent all my round lights before finishing the decorations on house two. Now I have to wait for the junkyard to open again. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to do everything. I'm sure you'll decorate all the houses and everything. this. We don't need to destroy these turrets. However, we do need to destroy these zombies. And that's what we did. Does the grenade launcher damage you? Yes, it does damage you. So you have to restore your health. You have to be careful or it will damage you too much and you will die. Okay, just one iron bar. Kind of goop. Kind of disappointed. Yeah. Even my pine connect to mechanic. But uh, house, but I still cannot talk to him. Guys, please help me. I have no idea. If you connected the, the pipes to the mechanic and you can't talk to him, maybe you didn't connect that stuff completely because you need to put a pipe on top of that radiator. And if you've connected everything, then contact support. I'm late. Please forgive me. Cyric, please, I beg your forgiveness. I'm super sorry. Please, says Flavio. <laughs> Guys, do we forgive Flavio for being late? Flavio. Actually, not Flavio. Flavio. Do we forgive Flavio? He's very sorry. He's begging for the forgiveness, guys. Should we forgive Flavio for being late? Myself, personally, I'd forgive him. But again, it's not up to me, Flavio. Today, it's not up to me. It's up to chat. And everybody's spamming no because it's holidays. And they are with the holiday spirit. 
the Christmas spirit and they don't want to forgive you. I mean, Flavio, I don't make the rules. Flavio, I do not make the rules. He has good holiday spirit, apparently. No mercy. Ban him. Guys, stop it. Again, luckily, this is not democracy, right? This channel is not democracy. I forgive Flavio. Flavio, you are forgiven. Even though the chat doesn't want to forgive you, it doesn't matter. Paul, do we ban Flavio? Or uh, Flufio or Flavio? Yeah, as I said, it's not democracy. We don't need a Paul here. I forgive him, guys. Just because you don't forgive him doesn't mean I don't forgive him. I forgive Flavio. You are free. Stand up, Flavio. Raise up. You're forgiven. Just because you're a little bit late, it's fine. Uh, we got another red ticket. Beautiful. And we got only a few lights. I mean, that's pretty sad. Does he play last on Earth? His forgiveness depends on it. I already forgave him, ladies and gentlemen. There's no debate between that. We're not discussing that. That's it. He's forgiven. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you super much. Thank you for your kind kindness and warm heart, says Flavia. You're welcome, Flavia. Thanks for being here. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. One green ticket in that locker, says Matthew. We're not going to go back and get that green ticket. It's fine. I left it for later. I'll get that ticket off camera, ladies and gentlemen. No worries. I will get that ticket off camera. Is Santa coming tonight? I have no idea. Perhaps. Depends if you were nice or not. Okay. We're gonna gather a bunch of schmucks. Oh my goodness. Okay, all of them are dead, ladies and gentlemen. Dead. I was definitely nice this year, says Wana. That's what a not nice person would say. I haven't seen a single nice person say that I was nice. Usually when you were nice, you're like, I'm not sure. Hopefully I was nice enough. I did my best to be nice. But hey, maybe there are other kids out there that need Santa more than me, right? Maybe somebody out there deserves more presents than me. That's that's what a nice person would say. A nice person would never say, I was nice! I deserve presents! That's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's like spitting facts today. And if you spit facts, smash that like button on the video. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Our goal is to get 100 million subscribers by the end of this year. I know that's a big goal, but I dream big. Yo, Matthew! Thank you for five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you, Matthew. Thank you, thank you. Happy holidays to you, Matthew. For example, here, I'm not Santa, but if I was Santa, I, was, I would definitely say that Matthew Spellman was uh, a good boy this year. Matthew Spellman was nice. Matthew Spellman deserves... Santa, right? Thank you, Matthew Spellman. Again, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but it is what it is. Thanks, Matthew. And congrats, Justin. Zero, zero, IDK, Cyber Glitch, some guy, and fam. Congrats on getting the gifted members. And shout out to Matthew Spellman. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Shout out to my third brain cell, aka my audio crew. Aka my base organizer, aka... Uh, Matthew, I guess. Matthew equals Santa. Maybe, but even Santa needs a Santa. So hopefully Matthew will, uh, will have, uh, will have his Santa. Okay, 
we're gonna destroy the Prince of Giant. And once again, thanks, Matthew. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being here on the channel for such a long time. Thanks for everything. Look at the Prince of Giants. Demolished. I guess I'm on the naughty list. Again, only Santa knows who's on the naughty list and who's not on the naughty list. It's like spitting facts on his screen to hide the broken pixel, says Boring Sus. I don't have any... Bro I do have a broken. I have a dead pixel on the screen, yes. I have a scratch on the screen and a dead pixel. Probably like two dead pixels. I have a pixel that keeps appearing if there's too much white around it. Then it kind of turns off. In any case... You perform yoga, says king of the east. Why would I... Why would you... Where did you get that information from? Who leaked the info? But all jokes aside, I would like to perform yoga. It takes time, though, as everything in life. I'm not gonna say that... Oh, I'm extremely busy, ladies and gentlemen. You know, all the meetings, all the business calls and everything. I'm very busy. I don't have time for... For whatever. No, but I would love to do yoga. I think it's pretty cool. But I just... Too lazy. That's pretty much it. Oh no, I broke the grenade launcher. I broke it. ND8 out of your mind. We get it, says Matthew. Yes, indeed. All the things that I do are under the NDAs. I can't do anything. I can't tell you anything, guys, that I do. Very busy. Extremely busy. Oof. Ridiculously busy. Your background music is addictive and, and spiritual. That's why. Uh, what? Oh. I perform yoga because of the music that we have here. Sure. Sure. Let's say that I do perform yoga. Are you grinding common zones? No, we're just clearing bunker alpha so that I can progress a bit further in the season pass. And at the same time, we'll get a few yellow lights. That's already the third floor. Should I do the new event as soon as it refreshes as a free-to-play player? If you can do it, Flavio, then probably. If you feel like you cannot do it, if you try doing it and you don't have the right weapons and you don't have flare guns and whatever, then I mean, you're not going to be able to do it. But I think you should try at least. Lights at the vending machines and food lockers at the start of the third floor. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Didn't even know that you can get lights from the vending machines. Interesting. the grenade launchers, ladies and gents. And we'll pop all of these zombies. All of them. Okay, there's just one toxic bomb. Where can I get Dragon's Breath bullet mod? You have to go to the new location that's been added to the game. Go there and do some quests. Unlock the gunsmith's bench over there and you'll be able to get the Dragon's Breath using Thermite that you get from the IC junkyard. forgot the vending machine. I know, it, but it was at the very beginning of the third floor, so I'm not gonna go all the way back. We're gonna finish clearing this place, and then we will loot the thing. Is there really a Molotov? Yes, we've used the Molotov at the beginning of the live stream. It's pretty bad. It's very bad, actually. One of the worst throwables in the, in the game. We only have two throwables, the grenades and the Molotovs, but the grenades are really good. Grenades are top tier, but Molotovs? They're just garbage. Horrible. They do like what 26 damage or something, and the zombies have to stay in that pool of thing in the pool of fire. Um let's 
let's get this, this, the minigun, and we'll keep going. They could add throwing rocks and the rocks would be better. Actually, yeah, unless they do five damage and they're extremely rare and to get that throwing rock you need tungsten or titanium. But yeah, it's like, why not streaming on Twitch? Question mark. Uh, why streaming on Twitch when me streaming YouTube? Please elaborate. I don't know, Cyric. Exactly. Exactly. Matthew, uh, the Matthew. <laughs> the Frenzy Giant is dead. Let's destroy the Frenzy Giant. I just read the chat and the comment said, Matthew, please bring a list of your list to the table. And I started reading the comment and I said the name Matthew. In any case, let's destroy the Toxic Spitters. Toxic Spitters are dead, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if the dev adds more guns and more level ups. Okay, maybe one day. Perhaps, perhaps. So we have already gotten 10 lights just from these few floors. Cool. Process to get Dragon's Breath is same as Incendiary. Yes, you just drop the shotgun there and that's it. Why is the max level 209 and not 210? Don't have a slightest clue. Okay, let's go to the fourth floor. Let's clear that place and then let's go to the transport hub. Let's do it, ladies and gents. Let's do it. What if they added devil fruits? I have no idea what's a devil fruit. I don't think that's a good fruit. But sorry, it's my favorite. Cool. I wouldn't eat the devil's fruit. The vending machine, it's... it. I have no idea where's that vending machine. I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes searching for it. We got places to be, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get that vending machine off camera. like it's in the middle of the third floor it's fine then i'm not going back there i'm not gonna spend three minutes looting it we got places to be if matthew was a fruit he'd be a devil fruit okay you guys are wild today Free to play episode one. The sooner the better. The sooner the better. I don't know when. But let's say soon. It's like, what do you want for Christmas? I want to get jacked. I want insane muscles. That's what I want for Christmas. That's what I asked from Santa. Muscles. Okay, let's put the French giant to sleep. I want to get jacked, so I need to buy new shirts. I want to get jacked so much that I could, can't fit in my old shirts. That's it. That's the mindset I respect. It says extremer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Eat a devil fruit, your skin will become uh, stretchy and you won't be able to swim in the ocean. Okay. That's interesting. Psych, but you don't know the reference. Hey. I know the reference. It's the the dude, the, the one piece man, right? The one piece man. Just one piece. One punch man and one piece man. Hmm?
wall trick with MGLs here, says Rudy. Yeah, that's what we've done. We did kind of wall trick with the MGL. Amazing. Only here, only right now. One Piece Man. Yes, indeed. One Piece Man. That's what's up. One Piece Man and Butter Man. Yes, indeed. Marvel should... Should add a Butter Man. One Dragon Ball Man. Yes. Let's get the Glock. Amigos. Oh no, my armor is about to get destroyed. However, I think it'll be enough to deal with these few zombies. Perhaps. I don't even know why we're blasting that grenade launcher. But again, it's Christmas. It's almost New Year, holidays, and all that kind of stuff. So we have to use the grenade launcher. That's the rules. I didn't make them. I don't know who made those rules, but I just followed the rules. Oh my goodness, I was almost done opening it. Now I have to start it all over. I wasted five seconds. I'll never be able to get those five seconds back. Unbelievable. So we got 11 lights. We could get maybe one more light, as you said, from the third floor in the middle. Okay, that's not too many lights. We still need a bunch of other lights. In the spirit of Christmas, you should go leave your loot. In the raids, says Rudy. Yes, the bots will appreciate the loot. Absolutely. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Give away all of your loot. If you have three ATB transmissions, give them to the raiders. It's Christmas after all. Um, I'm going to give the yellow tickets. Or maybe later. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's keep that stuff. We have things to do, ladies and gents. The transport hub. I wanted to clear the transport hub today. So we're gonna do it. Um, the, 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 the coupons will go here. And we're done sorting out our inventory. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yo, DA! Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. I need financial advice. Cyrek. Here's a tenor. What should I do with it? Triple question mark. Merry Christmas. I think you already did something with it. You gave it to the best YouTuber ever. Again, I might be a little bit biased. Just a little bit. But I think you've done the right choice. Thanks, DA. Thank you. <laughs> Saying it with a straight face. Thanks, DA. You have done the right choice. I approve this financial uh, decision. You couldn't have done anything better with these 10 pounds, or as you call them, a tenner. Thank you, DA. Thank you. Thank you once again. <laughs> DA, thanks for being here. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And all jokes aside, thank you for everything. I need financial advice, Cyrek. Here's a tenner. What should I do with it? Triple question mark. Merry Christmas. Thanks once again, DA. Merry Christmas to you too. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to your family. Uh, happy holidays. Thanks for everything. 10 out of 10 financial advice, says DA. Thank you. I did my best. I put all of my brain cells to work for this financial advice. Okay, so the game is lagging now because we have these crowd zombies. But yeah. Put all of my brain cells to work for that. Sorry, the financial advisor. Yes. Uh, the transport hub. That... Let's go. Let's clear the transport up. Mm. 
The inventory is a hot mess. That's all I have to say. A hot, hot mess. Is everyone ready for Christmas? I'm not, says the A. Bro, I can't even believe it's Christmas. For me, it's still just the end of the summer. Can't believe that soon it'll be 2024! I'm not even ready for 2023 sometimes. I say, I think that it's 2021, 2022. There's no way that it's gonna be 2024 now. And when you say these things, you know you are a boomer. And maybe I am a boomer. Oh no. Perhaps I am a boomer. You know what? I'm fine with it. Uh, let's get another set of armor. And let's try to speed run the transport hub. That's what we'll do. Okay, I'm gonna drop that armor here. This, this. And some of these weapons. There we go, that's nice. I think we got everything there is to get. Let's just leave this grenade launcher here. How was your day, Cyrix says, Both G. The day's been great, I called my family. And here I am. And in the evening, I'm gonna try some salmon, because I bought some salmon. So that'll be my special uh, holiday dinner. Pretty poggers. Hopefully your day is going great as well. Let's pop some carrots. I have replenished the guns. Uh, I mean, I've gotten the blueprints in these guns. The mods, I have some more... Food and the drones. He has healing items and the drones. Let's do it. Do we have enough? Maybe. A bandage stack is... Update seems to be good in my opinion. It's a nice update, yes. Refresh that. Okay, cool. I got ready to go to the transport hub, but should we just refresh this thing again? I think we should do it. But at the same time, there'll be nothing left to do. I'll connect all of the houses then probably, and I'll... Do we do this, ladies and gentlemen? That's it. Do we refresh this? That'll be a quick poll. Start the poll. Transport hub or... I see junkyard. What do we do? It's like do both. Can't do both. Only one of them. That's what we do, ladies and gentlemen. You can vote in the poll here. What do we do right now? Because we refresh this, I'm pretty sure we'll get enough lights and we will be able to connect all the houses, I guess. What if they decide to bring in different types of bullets, like fire, poison, etc.? Habizor Yale junk here it is 13 days. That's a good enough excuse, I guess. The point is, if I'm done with this event, I'll have nothing else to do here. But yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. 55% of you voted for the icy junkyard. So the votes are very close, kinda. But hey, let's probably finish this event then real quick. I was already ready to go to the junkyard. 
at the transport hub. But here we are. We need to drop some guns real quick. Okay, maybe I'll be able to sort out this inventory fast. There we go. We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. It's easier to drop loot than take loot. Who would have thought? And in this crate, we get thermite. We get some of these weapons. I will get some lights. And we can get another scar. Perhaps I already have a fully modded scar. There we go. Let's get that fully modded scar. We will add some more stuff on it. There we go. Let's get, get a few AKs, a shotgun. That's it. Let's roll, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And a pickaxe. Do we need a pickaxe? We have a pickaxe in the inbox, but do we really need a pickaxe? I don't think so. Perhaps? You can do the event in your no storage series. Actually, we could do the event perhaps on our free-to-play account as well. Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we will be doing it on our free-to-play account then. Sorry, I hate the settlement, but I don't want to do it, but I want to follow survivor's guide. What should I do? I don't know, honestly. Uh, there's nothing... I can help you with, I guess, in this scenario. You have to probably progress through this survivor's path, so you will have to work in the settlement. Because that's pretty much it. This is the only tip and trick I can give you. You'll have to work through the settlement if you want to progress through the survivor's guide. Okay, let's go here real quick. Let's upgrade this scar. And let's go outside to our junkyard, ladies and gentlemen. All we need to do is just decorate two more houses. I think that we need to decorate the Christmas tree and we will, we are done. If I'll even be able to decorate those houses. Oh no, I didn't refresh it. No. Okay, let's go here. Let's refresh this and let's go there now. Let's do it. Should have done the shotgun. I like the scar better. And the scar is probably better than the shotgun. So no, I should not have done the shotgun. I've used the shotgun yesterday and it's fine. It's pretty strong, but the fully modded scar is better. The fully modded scar is better. Should have perhaps gotten a torch. But here I am. Why Survivor's Path Premium have a timer even if we haven't finished it? Very nice comment. And uh, I don't know. Ask the support, ask the devs. Because I do not have a slightest clue why it's like that. Why there is a timer. How many event items you can get on the farm? I think you can get from 7 to 10 maybe. 7, 10, 11. Uh, yellow lights. Not the yellow lights, but the blue lights. When you click on the farm location or on any location on the map, at the very top you can see what kind of items you can find there. I didn't mean to touch that, but it, here I am. Okay, the Duggo did help us out a bit.
Will I even get enough light by clearing this event now? Maybe I'll have to clear it again. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Does anybody know if lights spawn anywhere else than not farm an alpha? They spawn at the motel in the green, yellow, and red zones. When you, As I said, when you click on any location of the map, you can see which locations spawn those lights. They'll be at the very, very top. You can see the resources. That you get there. to put that frozen bloater to sleep because I believe we'll have to clear this place again. So I'm gonna clear this place twice. Actually, that'll be my third time clearing it today. Hold. It's like, is a flare gun a permanent thing in Crude Creed Farm? I think you were getting flare guns in the <laughs> Crooked Creed Farm. In the Crooked Creek Farm. It's not a Crooked Creed Farm, it's the Crooked Creek Farm. But I think you were getting them even before this update. Unless I'm wrong, can somebody correct me? But I think you were getting those flare guns from the Crooked Creek farm even before this update. Okay, more pipes. A pickaxe. What pickaxe? There is nothing to do with a pickaxe. We don't need a pickaxe. What pickaxe? I think auto clear worth it because you don't have to use weapons. It's 50 rations, it's expensive. And you don't get enough lights. You don't get nearly enough lights for all the rations you have to use. It's like 10 rations for like three lights or two lights or something. It's it's not worth it. It is nice to refresh the location and clear it again. However, using it on on the auto clearing is not really worth it. Okay, this dude is dead. Let's deal with a frozen bloater. Another frozen bloater. Luckily, we have these scars, and these scars shred. How many rations do you have? Not enough. Okay, we got a bunch of lights here. More thermite. Thank you very, very, very much, sir. More lights. Uh, I'll get the thick cloth. Because we're kind of running out of that stuff at the base. We have this when to go. Wait, is it possible to wall trick it here? Somebody said it's possible to wall trick it in this spot. Okay, so it is possible. Let's say we have a torch. Okay, so it is possible to just wall trick that Wendigo here, then. Okay, so you can wall trick it, ladies and gents. But again, the time is ticking. And we got places to be. But this is a nice place to wall trick it. Uh, we did this. Let's open up the last chest here. Okay, this time we got more lights. It's still sad that that Wendigo boss doesn't almost drop anything. He drops like two lights. That's so sad. That boss should be dropping at least more. Should be dropping like this kind of loot from this storage than nothing. Oh, there's a nicey junk here. That's cool. Pun intended. Merry Christmas, Sykes is Nancy Girl. Welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas to you too. And yes, indeed, this place is indeed cool. Got seven yellow lights from the abandoned factory. Very nice. Congrats on the seven lights. It's like, tell devs to make it so that we can do floor three in Bravo without doing floor two, says Dracula. All right. That's a very nice idea. I'll definitely let them know. They will appreciate that. 
fight here. Thank you. Thank you, Dracula. I'm not gonna tell them anything, because why would I? Why would they care about my opinion? Even I don't agree with it. Thanks, Dracula. Let's go to the cook's house. Actually, wait, we're not going to be decorating the cook's house here. We're going to decorate this house over here first. Cyric, you're really good at whispering. Thank you. Wait, there's another house down there. I'm a donut. Am I a donut? I am a donut. This is the dude that I was supposed to talk to. There we go. This is the guy. Let's fill that stuff up. Okay, we have enough lights. I just don't have these round lights. No! So we'll have to go there again. Plus, we need three more batteries. We will get those batteries. Fine. Wait, that's the wrong house. This is the house that I wanted to visit. We can give these lights here. So we need more lights, ladies and gentlemen. We need more round lights. We need more colorful lights. And more duct tapes. Oh, Lord. I can do the junkyard again, but I'm not really sure if... If... That'll be enough. Let's go again. Round lights go to abandoned factory. Ooh. We could go there or we could reset this thing again. Uh, wait, if I auto one for the memes, what do I get? Oh, actually, we get more than the three lights, but still, it's not worth it. We'll do one more and we got a few of those lights. Let's refresh this. And uh, let's clear this place again, ladies and gents. Again! For the third time a day. Cyric, are you yes, you chair because of boiling charger and people? Says Flavia. I have no idea. That's a very good question. Thank you for asking it. We want to see you play Lego Fortnite. Okay, I mean, I've heard that it's a nice survival game. Like, all jokes aside, like, I have actually heard people say that it's a nice survival game. I don't think anyone... I don't think I've seen a single person say that, hey, the new Lego survival Fortnite thing is bad. So it's pretty good. I guess it's there to stay. Maybe we will check it out one day. Perhaps. I've actually been thinking to check it out as we play a lot of survival games. Maybe that stuff is fine as well. But we'll see. Okay, my scar will get these true. Actually, I have another scar. Cool. That should be enough. It's like I don't see these locations even after updating. So after you updated the game, try to go to your base and then exit your base. If that didn't help, then contact support. Another red light. Go and give me the round lights. Give me, give me the round lights. I want my round lights. So I've cleared this place six times because yesterday I've cleared it three times. Plus now I'm clearing it for the third time as well. So six times. So I've done basically six days worth of progress. Okay. Plus I've auto cleared this place once or... I mean, yeah, five times. Which also gave us a few more lights. Okay, that flare gun will get destroyed. That's not good. I don't like that. I want to save this flare gun for the boss fight. No round lights again. Like, excuse me, mister. Why am I even here then? If I don't get the round lights. What is my purpose? I 
I should I had some thermite. I should have upgraded another another scar or something. Whoops. There's my sneak attack. Three batteries, remember. We have batteries either at the base or something. But if I see the batteries, I will take them. Thanks for the reminder. No round lights again. Disgusting. Oh my goodness, my scars! They'll break. I wanted to save it for the boss fight! <sighs> my disappointment will be immeasurable. Do we even need to fight that boss? The boss drops nothing. Battery. I don't see these batteries, guys. If there's a battery, I don't see it. Of course, now that's it. Goodbye, scars. That won't be enough to deal with these frozen bloaters. Yikes. That said, all of my frozen weapons are destroyed. Okay, we just got two lights, two round lights, and that's it. You missed five batteries? I'm sure I missed batteries. I'm not saying that I haven't missed them. I'm sure I've missed them, but I'm just saying I can't see them. Because I usually ignore batteries, so I can't see the batteries. However, we have enough batteries at the base, so it's not like it's the end of the world. Let's get this dude. Okay, let's deal with this schmuck. I could use a torch, but I don't mind using the slasher. Going a few more attacks, baby. I think the dude might just burn to death. No, he did not. There we go, we did it. And what did we get from this boss? Okay, at least we got these round lights. That's what the doctor ordered. That wildling was determined to reach you. Yep. Did reach me. Sometimes their attack is weird. But hey, we destroyed that guy as well. Oh my goodness, now I need to delete this stuff because I can't pick it up. Maybe I should start taking these whiskeys. Maybe we will be able to make Molotovs from them one day. Maybe that's a silly idea, but maybe. What are the lights for? To decorate the houses at the event. Okay, so we got eight lights. That's not too many lights. Oh, lord. We gotta go around. We could leave this place now, but there's one more chest that I haven't looted. And I want to loot it. Let's go all the way here. Why do we need to decorate it? I have no idea, not my business. Not my problem, I couldn't care less. I was told to decorate it, I decorate it. I'm a simple man. The game wants me to decorate the houses, I decorate them. Why? I'm not paid to ask questions. I just decorate. My doggo, what is this? Is my doggo here? Dude, my doggo got stuck in the snow. Poor pooch, poor pooch. I really wish we could decorate our bases with lights. I seem to remember to be able to do that years ago during a Christmas event. I think we could decorate our houses like during the first or the second Christmas. 
event. Okay, let's go back to the base. Let's drop all the items. And let's see if that's enough. Sorry, no, get the batteries. I didn't even know where the batteries. Didn't see them. No, it's the end of the world. It's fine, guys. We'll survive without the batteries. Those wildlings sound like zombies from Game of Thrones. I mean, that big dude does look like a little bit from Game of Thrones. The face of that dude, but whatever. Okay, let's go here. Let's fill all of that stuff up. And we need three batteries, ladies and gentlemen. Three. Not ten, but three batteries. Uh, this was broken. Please tell me we got batteries here. I don't want to run back to the base for batteries. It's not in the equipment, perhaps in the resources. Um, batteries. Where do I get... Sorry, these are the batteries. Guys, these are drone replacement batteries. Stop it. These are the wrong batteries. I don't see my batteries here. Deleting that was painful. We must be very new to last in Earth survival. Which is fine. We all had to start somewhere. Um, I don't see the batteries here. I'm sure there are somewhere here. There's no way we don't have batteries. Oh, there we go. I knew it. It's in the other category. Beautiful. Let's finalize this. Let's finalize that. There we go. We got 3k more points. And there's only one more house left to decorate, ladies and gentlemen. One more house. The chef's house. We got everything. We just need three colorful lights, which we might have in the inbox, ladies and gents. Three colorful lights. We have them. Ladies and gents, we have these lights. And we need now 10 duct tapes. And I can't do anything. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop some of these blue lights because we have a lot of them. So it took us six icy junkyards. So you can get there in about like six, seven, maybe eight days of progress. So you still have enough time to reach and do this stuff here, I guess. Yeah. And let's get the duct tape now. It's all about the duct tape. Hopefully I have some duct tape in the inbox. We should have a lot of duct tape in the inbox. Oh, we do have 333 duct tape. Just enough. Let's get that. Let's finalize this. That was the last house. And we decorated it. That is it. Celebrate with the nomads. Talk to the elder. Okay. I can talk to the elder. What, we're gonna get another quest or something? Uh, hello, elder. Uh, now that our houses are warm, we can think about the holidays. We haven't celebrated Christmas in many years. It will be a huge deal for everyone. Will you help us do what? Will you help us do what? Okay. Decorate the Christmas tree. We can do this. That was very simple. The Christmas tree puts you in a different mood. Gather everyone around it and it'll come up with a celebratory speech. Okay. I'm ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready. Wait, gather everybody. This dude doesn't want to come with me. Oh, we have to call them in order. I have to call the gunsmith. I made fireworks, take them from the box and put them everywhere. What are you talking about? What is going on, mister? Take the fireworks. Put the fireworks down. But I didn't talk to the gunsmith, did I? I did, probably. Okay, we have to put the firework down here. Call the cook. Okay. I can do it. Hello, cook. I learned how to cook a new dish. Want to try it? New temporary skill from a dish. See, I knew I will learn how to cook. Okay, so the dude... What skill did I get, though? Sturgeon with vegetables. You ate a delicious meal. Your taste buds are happy. What is this sturgeon with vegetables? Maybe my fishing buff has increased or something. I have no idea what's the sturgeon with fish. 
Sturgeon with vegetables. Okay. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm too busy for celebrations. Someone around here has to work after all. Makes sense. Yeah, let's talk to the mechanic. I think I was able to reconfigure him. Look, prove you're not a robot. You too. It's alive. There we go. Why would they... What would he fix that robot? Robot's gonna celebrate Christmas as well. Now we have to call the healer. I'll be right there. Thank you. Now we have to talk to the elder again. Okay, so we got all of them. That's pretty cool. I won't say it's been a tough year. You already know that. Let's think about the good stuff. Now we have houses and they're warm. We built everything else next year. Don't drink too much. That's it. That's pretty poggers. That is pretty cool. Is he smiling there? Do you see his smile? Plus we've gotten 500 points. We've gotten more reputation. Only 500 points for doing everything. We could have gotten more points for that, but whatever. Do I need to talk to him again? Okay, let's take the rest of these rewards. And we have leveled up all the way to level 38. So you can get to, to this spot in about... Probably 7 to 8 days, I'd say. And you'll still have 7 other days. Or something to complete these other tasks, right? So I think it is possible to get this division box if you just grind daily. So good luck with it, ladies and gents. Plus we've gotten a new weapon, the Scorcher. Interesting. Plus, we've gotten some stuff here. What was it? Some of you said that, oh, we didn't get the Christmas outfit. We did get it, ladies and gentlemen. We actually got the Christmas outfit. Plus, we've gotten the Scorcher. Imagine here we had the blueprint for the Molotovs. That would be an amazing gift. Imagine that. You open this up and there's the blueprint for the Molotovs. That would be like, mwah. But hey, we did not get it. So, it is... What it is, wait, before we get the rest of the items, how about I just drop everything we have here? Uh, all of these lights. Okay, cannot drop them anymore, cannot drop this. I could drop some yellow lights, I could drop a bunch of pipes, I guess. And that's it. Okay, so we will be leveling up little by little. No kidding, what are these lab items? What kind of gift is that? I mean, we did get the Scorcher. And why did we get these lab items? I have no idea why did we get these five catalysts. Uh, ten inhalers and five aluminum plates. That The rewards are pretty... Goop. I agree. However, it's Christmas, right? I'm not going to complain about it. I guess. Um... They will disappear when the holiday is over, so I don't really care about it. They can stay here. Let's check out the Scorcher, which also does fire damage. Do we lose durability when we shoot it just like that? Ooh. The sound is pretty awesome. Goob, but let's test the Scorcher. Yeah, it would be cool if we got the blueprint for the Scorcher. Would be cool if we got... Uh, the blueprint for the Molotov. Or like 100 Molotovs if they don't want to give me the blueprints. Even 100 Molotovs would be pretty trash because these Molotovs are garbage. However, the rewards under the Christmas tree were sad. But that's okay. Okay, let's go to the... to this zone, for example. Here. Please give a full outfit. Yeah, we didn't get the boots. The event is only $200. How oh, great. Who said that it's $200? As I said, you will get here in about 7-8 days. So I did skip a lot of stuff. How about we can get there in like 7-8 days, I guess. Okay, how much damage do we do? Oh, there's a frozen bloater here. 35 damage plus the dude burns for a bit. So we've done 55 damage with one shot. It sounds cool. That's all I have to say. It does sound cool. And it is a nice weapon. It does have an okay amount of durability. 
it does have a decent amount of durability, actually. Compared to... I mean, it's still... It'll still break very fast. However, it does have more durability than the Winchester, in my opinion. So I think it's... Good enough. What do you think, guys? It's cool, but I mean, it's very limited. Oh It'll break very soon. So that's the biggest problem about it. Yo, Matthew! Matthew! My Santa! Thank you, thank you, thank you for five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Wana. Shout out to... Uh, congrats to Ahmed, Civil Bear, Eric, Wana, Kshti for getting the gifted membership. And once again, huge thanks to Matthew Spellman. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Some random sound effects. Only here, only right now in this professional live stream. It's like you got the purple blueprint of the torch gun. Yeah, the flamethrower has nothing compared with this weapon. This weapon is so much better. But again, it's very limited. Wish we had more weapons like this. Like, wish they were everywhere. But they're not. Probably everywhere, so... We won't be able to do anything. So yeah, I'll probably skedaddle from this place. There's nothing else left. We did check out the Scorcher. It's an okay gun. In my opinion. Is the Hermit Pack still available? Please answer. I have no idea. But Justin F says no. So that means probably it's not available. So yeah, thanks once again, Matthew. Happy holidays to you. Thanks for everything. And we just checked out the new weapon, Scorcher. Cool. I guess. But that's about it. It's a collector's item. We won't really get a lot of these Scorchers, so... They, they are... It's like a shotgun that does fire damage. It's like somewhat of a Winchester with more durability. It'll go on my weapon stand. Yep. I mean, it's not like it can go anywhere else. Along with the Dragunov. Yep. But hey, it is a fun little weapon. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, mouth breathers, says insane. It says Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Mouth breathers. What if your nose is stuck and you can't breathe through your nose? You can only breathe, breathe through your mouth. Are you still a mouth breather? When technically, like, you don't want to breathe through your mouth. You're still probably a mouth breather. I ain't a mouth breather, I'm a knuckle dragger. I don't even know what that is. I don't have a slightest clue what that is. Okay, this thing is almost broken. How about we get some space? For these weapons. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we will be buckling up little by little. So, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow, either with a video or with a live stream. I mean, we've already done three live streams in a row, so maybe there will be a video. I have no idea. Future Psych will decide. I mean, tomorrow is, like, actually Christmas, but... There will be either a video or a live stream, regardless. 
So there's that. Thanks once again, everybody, for joining here. We are done with this event. There is nothing else left for us to do in... I mean, actually, we still have things to do. We need to get the lights. We need to decorate. Actually, we don't need to decorate anything. We need to get the lights and just level up to get that division box because we still don't have it. So we still haven't done everything in this event yet. So there are still some more things to do. And then we can keep farming those uh, Christmas boxes. So there is that. It's actually a pretty decent event. I liked it. It was one of the better Christmas events that we've had. Probably we had maybe better events back in the days, but this one was also good enough. I would definitely put it in a positive uh, event list. We got some new items. We got some Molotovs that are pretty goop. We only have five of them. But hey, all that stuff aside, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks once again, Matthew. Thanks for everything. And see you guys tomorrow. Shout out to all of you. And uh, happy Christmas. Happy holiday. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And take care. Uh, yeah. Wait, sorry, the batteries. We're gonna get these batteries later. No worries about the batteries. I'll get them off camera. Yes. This event was better than last year. Yep, it is better than last year, which I guess is better than nothing, right? It was pretty good. It's positive you can get the, the division box for those who still don't have it. And that's pretty cool. Are you gonna stream tomorrow? I'm not sure. I just said either tomorrow live stream or tomorrow a video. But we'll see. Take care, ladies and gents. Peace out. And see you later. Happy holidays. Have a great time. And take care. Take care. Once again, Matthew. Thank you. And take care, guys. Uh, take care. Take care. Does the event get Sykes approval? Yes, it does get Sykes approval. And you guys also get Sykes approval. Take care. Happy Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry, Merry New Year. And peace out.